Alright, at long last, today we're looking at the Pegasus uh, kit which is installed on this Theater Insight. Uh, my overall opinion on this is that it is a must have. Uh, there are a few bugs in the alpha code that I am running, uh, but overall it is just stellar. Uh, as far as the installation goes, uh, you know, I did a video on how to install it, but honestly it was so easy to do that uh, I'm gonna let somebody else, probably Mario, post the official thing. Uh, I will note that there are a few pieces that have to be cut out of the back of the plastic housing. Uh, you can, instead of cutting it out, uh, you can just not install it. I don't recommend that, but that's what I'm doing right now. I just put some Kapton tape on the back uh, to keep all the bits from falling apart in the back of the car. Uh, but anyway, uh, man, what a stellar, phenomenal work. Mario did a fantastic job on this. So, it kind of looks kind of stock right now. The first thing you'll notice is that the auto stop light is not on, and that's because I have it remapped to uh, show you when you're in lead burn, which at the speeds that I drive lately uh, is almost never, uh, but that's fair. Um, okay, so I have remapped the charge and assist. So, the first thing I've done is basically remap the bars to where each bar is 500 uh, watts. Actually, that's incorrect. Each bar is 5 amps uh, delivered to or from the motor. Uh, there's a bug right now where the kilowatts is not working correctly, but when that gets fixed, I'll map it towards 500 watts per bar. Uh, that way you know a true power, not just the current, which is a function of the battery voltage as far as the output power. Uh, so next up, the battery I have remapped uh, on the bottom right. Again, there's a small bug there. there there's basically the parameters that have a decimal right now. Uh, like the state of charge and uh, the, the kilowatts. They have a bug, it's parsed incorrectly, and, and Mario knows what the issue is. I think he's fixed already, I just don't have the firmware for it. Uh, so, basically you can remap any gauge and it's really cool. So uh, I'm gonna be using the, uh, talk, the joystick here, and so you push in on it, you can basically set parameters, gauges, and then you come in, you see I've mapped the auto stop to the air and fuel ratio, uh, you can map the tachometer, and it shows you, if you look on the bottom there, the, the blinking little dot where the instantaneous miles per gallon is, is telling you which gauge it's currently going to remap. Um, and so, you know, engine temperature, you can do a better engine temperature remap, uh, fuel gauge, uh, charge and assist. I have these remapped, that's what I was saying a second ago. Um, so that's how you do gauges. Next. Uh, next up is just parameters, so, so you can set parameters in here, there's a whole bunch, and again, we have a blinking dot, so you can basically set any of the parameters. The speedometer here is mapping the uh, hex code for, if you're familiar with Peter's ob 2 cnc uh, that's basically the same hex codes there. So the parameters here, when you scroll, you can do throttle position, electronic load, uh, brake pressure, uh, engine load, air to fuel ratio, EGR valve, you can map whole bunch of stuff. Here's the outdoor temperature, which is neat. Uh, is it, I believe it's in Celsius. Uh, instantaneous fuel economy, which is really cool. Uh, I think there's a, a little bug right now where it's, it's it reads like 6% low or something. I, I'm not completely sure. However, if, as far as instantaneous goes, I find that it's much easier to look down and see the IFE instead of having to interpret the gauge. Uh, so I can just look down and say, hey, look, I'm getting horrible mileage, which is most of the time. This TDM feature here introduces a couple concepts. One, uh, the display here can't display all the characters, and Mario's mentioned this. So that, that character after the TD is an M. It makes sense once you get used to it. Uh, I think K is the weirdest letter. It's really hard to display K. So what is this gauge right now? This is just the total uh, time that the car's been on on your trip. So you can see I'm coming up on 200 minutes. I'm at 198.6 minutes. Great feature when you're trying to figure out what you know what was my average uh, miles per hour on the trip, which this will also do. It's, it's a planned feature that's not currently implemented. Uh, but so right now I know that I've been driving for three hours. Uh, fuel economy again. Oh, I'm going backwards. What am I doing? Let's see, there we go. Uh, 12 volts. Uh, EGR. Air to fuel ratio load. I think I have some redundancy here. I don't know what's going on. Uh, yep. So we're back to this screen again. So got the parameters, the gauges. Next up we have the, the fuel uh, consumption display. Now we're calling these the, uh, the, the 0, 50, 100, and 150. So when someone says the 150 digit 
or whatever. Uh, that, that's what that needs. So I will say that on, uh, as Mario has noted very well in the documentation, uh, the zero can only be on or off. It cannot be anything besides zero or nothing. Uh, so that's going to be a good binary. Currently it's not implemented, so currently that you cannot remap the zero digit. Uh, the 50 uh, can display numbers 0 through 9 uh, and then 10 through, I believe, 90, but not 11, for example. So only 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And that is because the, the 0 on the 50 uh, is, is either on or off again. The 100 uh, can display digits 0 through 19 uh, inclusive, and then it can do 20 through 190, uh, but only again 20, 30, 40, 50. It can't do 26, for example. Now, we've been talking about Mario making it to where we actually display any number on any of these digits by just doing uh, a flash to where it would say 20, 20, and then 6, so 26 hands, so 20, 6. Uh, I don't know if that would be annoying or not as far as being visually uh, pingy. Uh, whatever. Now, the last, the 150 uh, FCD uh, can display any digit between 0 and 199, uh, which is really nice. Uh, so right now I have that doing the uh, state of charge. Once the bug on the actual battery thing not being able to display state of charge is fixed, I will remap that 150 to something else more useful. Uh, but I tell you what, it's great. So right now, what am I displaying? I have the weather, of course the zero is not remappable on this version. The 50 I have remapped to uh, whether or not the engine fan is on. Uh, because I'm just trying to better understand when the engine thinks it needs it to be cool. Uh, just because I don't have a lot of experience with the ice in this car. Uh, next up is the number of amps that I'm pulling in the car. So the, the 100 is currently saying I'm pulling 10 amps. Again, there's a small bug there to where it's not correctly displaying 11 through 19 where it should be able to. Uh, but again, that's something that Mario has already fixed, so that's good. So I'm just running the first alpha version of it. And then again, the 150 is my uh, battery state of charge. Now I tell you what, as I was saying earlier, this is indispensable because as an engineer, an analog display, even if it's digitally represented, is useless if you don't know what each value is. So there's no label on the fuel gauge, for example. Well, now you can remap that fuel gauge to where each bar is a gallon if you want. Uh, and then, of course, it would never be full, or you could map each bar to be half a gallon, which would be uh, even even better, right? Having the charge and assist right now, when I look at that charge, I know that that's pulling between 10 and 15 amps into the battery right now, and that this is, you know, 20 amps of assist. Whereas before, it's basically useless. You don't know, you only know that it is providing assist to a region. Uh, so this is something that I will not be taking out. Uh, I, I highly recommend it when it does become available for purchase. Uh, and I tell you, it's one of those things that having an 18 year old car and being able to suddenly know how long you've been driving it with the throttle position uh, or the, the electronic load, these are very, very basic features in a new car, uh, but they are pivotal, like absolutely required features uh, in an old car when you're trying to be a hypermiler, which sadly I'm not, I just geek out about shit. But like to know your battery voltage, you know, to know the, the, the outside air temperature, even if it is in Celsius, which I love, uh, but I'm sure a lot of the American market won't. Uh, it's just one of, one, of, one of those things that's absolutely required. The fuel economy here being instantaneous is also really, really cool. Uh, I don't remember. oh, this is your time driving. I love knowing how long I've been driving. I, you know, when I drive this car uh, for more than five minutes, it's because I'm driving it for 10 hours. And it's so neat to say, look, I've been in this car now for 204 minutes, for example. Uh, how far have I gone in that time? You know, it's just absolutely pivotal. Now, one thing, I wanted to show some of the specifics here in this in this remaining time. Uh, and that's how what is going on when you set uh, the gauges here. So this was really confusing to me. So we're gonna, for example, come in to, uh, I've remapped the charge and assist. So what I have in here is when I hit okay, I'm basically getting to select the parameter. And I don't, uh, I'm sorry, I haven't, I'm not in it yet. So I'm in the parameter now and I can select what the parameter is that's displayed. You have to hit enter. 
And then I have this map low and map high value. So what are these? Map low is basically saying what value returned from whatever register you called. So again, we're doing the uh, NDM amps. So what value will show zero bars on this gauge? And so I have zero amps is zero bars. You can change that to other values. Map high, I say map high is 90 amps. And the reason I did that is there's 18 display units. And if it's 90 being divided by that is five amps per, which is really nice. Uh, so when you come in here to change it though, this was extremely confusing to me. I think Mario is gonna redo it. Uh, I think the, the description was also unclear. So the left number here is just how much you're going to add or subtract from the right number, which is the map high value. So with the map high value being 90 right now, let's say I wanted to make it 80. Well, I could just come in and you know, go blah, 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 10 times or whatever. Or I can come over here and now every time I use it, Display. So the map, the uh, uh, the assist, so the charge is zero to ninety amps positive. Well, the assist is just zero to ninety amps with negative, so zero to negative ninety amps. And that way, I can use the same map to parameter value and get a true charge and assist. So I I haven't found that I'm actually changing what a lot of the parameters are here, which I'm sure a lot of people will do. I'm just making them more engineering friendly. Or I actually know what this value means other than it's full and it's empty. Now, of course, to the casual user, you don't care if you have seven kilowatts coming out or in, but to the, to the engineers, the people who are going to be buying this Pegasus, I guarantee you when you put this in to your instrument cluster, it's never going to come out, and the cars that you have that don't have it in there very shortly after get it, um, it's just an absolute necessity. And, and of course, necessity, it's a one, of course. This is all tinkering hobby stuff that you know, it's not water or calories but man super super cool mad props to mario for actually releasing this product this is a, a lot of work and uh you know hats off to you man this is great fantastic job stay on the road here in general i think one final feature here of course not only am i using uh, Pegasus and configuring it while I'm driving. I'm also taking a video of it, uh, which is very dangerous, so I do concede that. Um, this thing has the ability to read the speed. I think that it might make sense if you were driving the car to not be able to change the configuration parameters. That, I mean, I love the ability to do it from just a, a strict liability standpoint, though. I think Pegasus would probably either come with a, a thing you have to sign that says don't use this while you're driving or Mario could very easily make it to where if the car is moving uh, you know in excess of one mile per hour or something that you can't change the configuration values. I hate to limit the user control of that but I hate also for someone to have an accident uh, and I hate even more for that person to sue Mario. Uh, so the final version truck of course, I, I was going to say probably, but it's not my product, so I don't know. I think Mario would be wise to uh, implement a block, a, a parameter configuration block, uh, in the case that you're driving the car. Uh, just my two cents.